I know it looks like an airship, but it isn't. This unique British design is a hybrid, a blend of airship, airplane, helicopter and hovercraft. This is the prototype, which is 50 foot long, full of helium, which of course doesn't explode. You can see I can move it, but eventually they're looking to build a vehicle that is a thousand foot long. If you can imagine, it would be bigger than one of these hangars here and able to carry around a thousand tons. Airships are lighter than air, which means you need a large ground crew to land them. This hybrid doesn't need anyone. So Dave, what you're doing here, you could be doing as a pilot on the vehicle or you could be doing it in a room hundreds of miles away, could you? That's correct. This, at the moment we're in a simulation uh, of just of the vehicle. We could be flying it on board, as you said, where we'd actually feel all the motions and see what's happening or else we could be flying this from, say, the other side of the world and doing it remotely. And it, all the controls would be the same? Controls, the screens, the displays, exactly the same, yes. They've just signed a £300 million deal with the US military. Cruising in the air for more than three weeks at a time, an unblinking eye to monitor the ground. But it's not just the military who are interested. We're talking to some of the biggest companies in the world that are uh, the oil industry, the mining industry, humanitarian aid, where, where you need to go where there is no infrastructure and uh, you don't need runways, you don't need roads. And basically, if you think of any of the natural disasters we've had recently, now, these could have had uh, food aid in and medical supplies right to the point where people need them. The first full-size hybrid will be flying by the summer.